Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs, and welcome to my tutorial on installing Vala using uh, msys2 on Windows. So first off, what is Vala? Well, it's a programming language developed by the GNOME project, and it effectively, syntax-wise, is similar to sort of C-sharp, and it compiles down into C, and it's actually quite portable, but using it on Windows is a little tricky, if you will. Um, mainly because, you know, it needs a C compiler, and Windows really doesn't have a C compiler for this reasons. Anyhow, um, so uh, there's a link in the description to vala.dev, which you can go to vala.dev and you can check it out. Um, and again, you know, Vala is a fairly active language. Uh, I think it recently got another update. I know that that right there is 0 0.56 and it's from March, but I believe they actually got one recently, but it might've been just a, uh, a patch update, uh, I believe last month in October. So how do we, uh, you know, get this actually set up and cause you know, once you have Vala, I mean, you know, you can compile GNOME applications if you want. It's quite simple, really. Uh, we just go to msys2.org, we go to the package index, and then we just type in Vala, and then select this here. And this is the base package, obviously. Now we have to figure out which binary package we want. Now I'm using GCC, I'm not using Clang, so I want this one right here, minjw w 64 x86 underscore 64 dash Vala. And there you have it. So I will just open up the uh, terminal. Uh, if you didn't watch, there's another video prior to this one. There's a playlist for msys2, uh, and it actually shows how to set up msys2 and um, everything you're going to need uh, you know, to actually get to this point. We set up a C compiler and, and all that good stuff. So we'll do pacman dash s and then we just want to do minjw dash w64 dash x86 underscore 64 dash Vala. okay and now it's just going to download a whole bunch of stuff you can see all the packages and the dependencies and everything it's going to grab we'll just hit y and then it'll just grab everything shouldn't take no more than a second um i believe i didn't clear out the package when i tested this so it should install pretty fast. Since it's not going to have to grab anything. OK, now, in order to make sure that everything's up to date, you can do a pacman-syu. And this will go through. And it's something you should always do. Uh, it'll go through and check and make sure all your packages are up to date. And it might occasionally error, but just ignore it or run it again. It should be fine. So it did find some stuff in relation to, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and run that. Why not? Never hurts to keep everything up to date. Now it's a little out of the way for the tutorial, but it shouldn't really take very long. Okay. That's fine. Now we'll just launch this again. And if it works, we can type valic. And it worked, because up there we have no source file specified. So the next thing we're going to want to do is you're going to go into your C drive and the default install directory is msys64 and then go into the home directory because this is where everything is stored and then whatever username you have. And here's the SDL from the previous. Uh, I can launch it, you know, get a nice little window there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to make a new folder. I'm just going to call it Bala. And then I'm going to make a brand new text file. Now, all we're going to do is just have it print hello world. We're not going to do anything special. So I'm just going to call this hello.bala. And then I will so just open it up with notepad. Uh, hang on. I had the old one there. Let me just copy that. Open it. No, I don't wish to save. Please just open the file for me. Thank you, Notepad. Okay, there we go. Okay, and I'm just going to copy what I had in there. So all we all it is is static void main string args and then 
stdout.print and hello world. I'll put this in the description in case you just want to copy it. But you know, like I said, this is mostly just to, just to make sure that everything is working uh, appropriately. And what we'll do now is we'll do an ls and we'll see that we can see our vala directory. So we'll do cd vala, another ls, and we can see that our file is in there. And now we'll just do valic and then hello.vala. We'll do another ls and you can see it made our executable and obviously didn't error. And we'll do period forward slash hello.exe. And there you have it. We have hello world. So that is literally, Vala is now set up. Now there are other build systems and so forth like Mason and various others. Um, I mean, you could use a batch file if you wanted to uh, make, you know, pretty much any build system should be able to work um, with uh, Vala. Um, but we're not going to cover those because there are tons of tutorials in actual relation to Vala and you can go use those should you choose to um, want to actually uh, actually use Vala or you know if you're an experienced developer moving over you know whichever. I'll also include some uh, tutorials links in the description for um, you know, every, everything you're going to like, if, for those of you that are interested in wanting to learn Vala, I'll include some resource links, uh, but it's quite a lovely language. If you want something that's like C sharp, but compiles down to C gets down to that, you know, close to the metal as it can get really, you know, before you have to drop literally down to C or to assembly. Yeah. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Hey everyone. Thanks for watching Raven gaming labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member-exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.